Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is going to be a reading for Sagittarius from December 1st to December 8th, 2019. Please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Um, hit the little thumbs up or the bell icon. That would be awesome. Uh, so I'm going to use the Mystical Cats Tarot for your reading today. And then I'm going to use the Chakra Wisdom Tarot cards. Um, they're new. They are uh, from Tori Hartman. She had a near-death experience in 1988 and prompted her to write books and make tarot decks and oracle cards. And they're beautiful. I just love them. And I can pick so much up from them. They have a lot of information in them. So I've shuffled the cards before I uh, turn the camera on. Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm going to lay the cards down. And I'm doing a general reading. There's no way this could apply to every Sagittarius out there. So where it fits, that's good. Where it does not, don't force it. The masculine feminine energies are vice versa as well. So if I say uh, male and you feel it's a female in your life, that's totally how you're supposed to interpret it. You apply it where it fits in your life. Because all I can do is read the cards. You have to figure out where they fit in your life. So the first card I have for you, ouch, right off the bat is the Tower card. So, as you guys know, the Tower card is when something abrupt happens in your life and changes, and it, it happens to us all, and when something goes out of our life, it makes room for something new. I don't know that's harsh to a lot of people, but that's what that card is. So, Fire Tom. So this would be um, somebody who's very skilled at their job, I feel. They're very good at it. You have a certain skill, Sagittarius, that you make money off. The floating cat. This is you up in the air, undecided about something. And you should just wait, because when it answer, the clarity comes to you, you'll know, and you'll be able to make a decision. So um, you're going to make the right one. Otherwise, that card would not have came up. Or Tom. So this is uh, somebody coming to help you. This is a helper or something. Something or someone is coming in to help you in some aspect of your life. And then I have Two of Sky. Two of Sky is... You're trying to make a decision, and I feel like it has to do with secrets, why the little moon's up here, and it's from your past, and you're trying to make a decision about something. Um, yeah, it, involve, it revolves around secrets, something being kept from you, and maybe you just found out, and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do now? Eight of C. Eight of C is somebody being stuck up, kind of, and looking for the nice things. All they care about is the material things in life. That's what they want. Material, that's all they see. Ooh, two of cups. This is love. True love. Well, that's pretty good that that came out. And then Fire Kitten. This is a red flag. I feel like you see something and you're like, oh, I'm going to investigate this and figure out what what this means. Four of Sky. This is you withdrawing and healing from some situation. Maybe some of you are sick, but I almost feel like it's a uh, mental confusion maybe. And you're just retreating and the purple is healing. Amethyst and Lavender. And you're withdrawing. You're going to be by yourself to kind of get clarity on a situation is what I feel. So strength card. Very good. This says that you have the strength. Um, Sagittarius. And usually that's a precursor to something coming out. Three of C. Friends. So I don't know if friends are making you strong. Ooh, balance and strength. So, I don't know 
hopefully you guys understand what this means, but the universe is trying to tell you you have balance and you have two strength cards coming out. So, the world. This is you planning and thinking how you want your future to go. Maybe this is you making goals for the future. But I feel like you're looking on your past and when you turn around you're going to have a clear idea of what you want your future to look like. And the world is you having the power to change your life. You're going to triumph over something. See, getting very nice. This could be a proposal. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what this is, a marriage proposal. Somebody coming with you to you with an offer of love, or are you going to someone else? The priestess, very good. This is clarity. This is uh, the divine. The priestess is clear. She's precise. She's honest. Um, and you see the moon in the background. So if you are confused about something in your past, you're going to have clarity is what this card says. And you will heal from it. Whatever's hurt you or making you question it, you're going to move on and you're going to heal. Ten of C. And this is a couple things. This could be family helping you heal or family involved in this. Or this could be uh, travel, a uh, vacation. And this is co-workers. Three of Earth. Co-workers. So that's pretty significant when co-workers comes out. Ace of Sky, this is a warning. This is telling you a warning to stop something, or you're going to see the warning and you're going to stop somebody. So you're going to get a warning after you get clarity, I feel. Maybe it's coming from a coworker. See, Tom, this is a flirt. This is somebody who flirts a lot. To a fire. You're trying to make a decision about something, and you're going to come to the clarity, uh, Sagittarius, and when you, the cat turns around from thinking, he'll have a clear answer. So a lot of thinking in this card, a lot of decision making so far in this reading, a lot of strength. So this is Seven of Earth. This is you waiting, and I feel like because there's tree roots in the card, that it has to do with family. You're waiting for something with your family. The demon cat. This could be a Capricorn around you, um, but I feel like it's a warning. You have two warning cards here, Sagittarius. So this is a, I feel like it's an angry male because there's a red triangle behind the cat. It's an angry male. And he doesn't care how he hurts you, if that makes sense. Ten of Earth. This is you being generous, um, yeah, and helping somebody, or maybe somebody has helped you. Wow. And this is Five of Sky. So this tells me somebody you've helped or somebody who helped you could be turning on you. And you're feeling like you have to defend yourself. And this is the stars. This tells me this is the divine and what happened was supposed to happen and um, now that is going to leave opening for good things to come into your life. Probably a wish or a dream fulfillment is what that means to me. Okay, next card is a chariot. Again, Major Arcana. This is um, a couple things. This could be fast communication coming your way. This could be you traveling, um, or this could be a risk starting over with something. So, five of earth. You're going to feel left out in the cold about something, and a lot of it is in your head, Sagittarius. You're making it worse by thinking about it over and over and looking at the negative. So if you are doing that, this card is telling you to stop. Let it go. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You cannot control it. Oh, and this is Ace of C. Again, this is love. You have had three love cards come out. Very nice, Sagittarius. So somebody really loves you. And they're trying to make you aware of it somehow. Or maybe you feel left out in the cold for love is what it could be. Maybe you feel left out in the cold. So the Emperor, Major Arcana. 
this is um, somebody who holds themselves to a high standard. They're honest. They have the other, how do I say it? They have uh, clarity. They're calm. They're wise. They're mature. They've been successful. They have lived a lot of uh, things in their life. So this is someone around you, possibly older emperor, like a father or grandfather. Or this is you getting the Emperor Attitude, Sagittarius. So the cat, this is you just going on about your life. And you're open to whatever comes in. You're just going on about your day. And I feel like something comes your way. And you're like, whoa, where did that come from? And it's usually happy. Ooh, but maybe not. This is Seven of Sky. This is somebody doing something behind your back when you're not looking Sagittarius. So this is the cat. It's almost like you're you're going on about your day, and somebody is doing something behind your back, and you don't know it. Six of sky. So this is you removing yourself from lower vibrations. People bickering, yelling, arguing. You're like, okay, I'm out of here. I'm gone. I don't have time for that. Aww. Nine of Sky, but this is you struggling, you can't sleep, you're overthinking something, you're stressed, very anxious. This is Forever Earth. This again is my selfish card. This is somebody who takes and does not give. They take, 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 and they don't hardly ever give. So, yeah, not good. They're selfish. And maybe you need to be selfish is what that could be saying after you're all stressed out about something. Five of fire, again, this is people around you arguing. This is a sore loser. This is people bickering, arguing, creating drama. Earth Queen, this is a very opinionated female. I feel like she's usually older. And it's her way or no way. There's no way around getting past what she wants to do. And Sky Kitten, this is immaturity. This is somebody being immature. It could possibly be that opinionated Earth Queen female around you. Nine of Earth. This would be you, Sagittarius, reflecting on your life in the past. And you want to change your life. You want to move into the future. And you want to leave something behind in the past, is what this says to me. Wow. And now we have Ten of Fire. Again, there's some sort of dramatic situation where people are being hostile and verbally mean to each other. And you, again, will remove yourself from that situation. You're like, what is going on? Why are people acting like this? Three of Fire. This is awesome. This is you looking to the Divine for answers. And they are guiding you. And they give you the answers when you feel like you can handle the answers, Sagittarius. So it's good to ask. It's good for them to know you want answers. But they will come to you when they feel you can handle them. And this is the wheel. This is something ending and something new coming in. So this is... The tower was your first card. The tower is something changing that is abrupt and hard for you. The wheel is something changing that is somewhat easier for you. It's for you positive. So that's what I was thinking of when that card came up first. I was like, oh my gosh, why can't it be the wheel? So the wheel came out later that everything is going to move into the correct cycle, the correct vibration. It seems like there's going to be a little drama around it. So this is the sun. This is Major Kana. This is happiness, love, and victory. So I'm going to stop there with those and use the... Uh, Chakra Wisdom Tarot now. And I shuffled the cards. I'm going to cut them though. And so the first one we have for you, Sagittarius, is Princess of Cups. Beautiful. The Princess of Cups is tender and romance. She has a tender heart. She is loving. She is nurturing. And this is your heart chakra with the green. That could be you or somebody around you. Gosh, Five of Swords. So, this is 
A no-win situation. This is threats. I feel like somebody is threatening you. Somebody is being very verbally negative to you. And the card basically says, because it's a blue throat chakra, I feel like they're going to verbalize to you arguments that there's no reason to even argue with this person. They can't see it your way at all. Sorry for that, Sagittarius. Oh, wrong card. <laughs> Sorry. So this is Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands has to do with recovery and stamina. So whatever this person is coming through and being verbally mean, this card right here is your sacral chakra, emotions. You are going to be able to override that negativity. Don't, don't think you can't. You are totally going to be able to. And there's a lot of thoughts concerning it. And there's one that is really kind of hits a nerve and is making you kind of angry. But you're going to be able to extinguish that and move on and not even look back. Oh, the hermit. So this again is emotions. This is, wait, this is yellow. So this is uh, solar plexus. This is fast action and communication. So the hermit can represent a Virgo, but it also represents looking into here, trying to find answers. And this card tells me you're going to find the answer. You're going to get clarity. It will come to you, Sagittarius. King of Wands, this is your crown chakra. So this is influential. This is somebody coming in to influence you and your crown chakra is eternity you know it's above your head so it points up towards heaven so I feel like this was supposed to happen this king is supposed to come in and do what he does you're supposed to learn something from it or he is I'm not really sure the emperor again this is your throat chakra blue so emperor again is major arcana and this is ambitious and leader so sometimes you have to take the emperor attitude to take the leader mentality to override the negative. So I don't know if this king of wands comes in and teaches you because to be the emperor, the emperor is higher than the king of wands totally. The emperor is one of the highest hierarchies in the cards. The fool, major arcana again. So, the Fool is choosing a new route in life, and it has to do with your identity. So, I don't know if that person is going to make you do that, or they're going to help you do it. And I don't mean make you physically. Their actions are going to make you change, is what I'm picking up. Death. This is a Crown Chakra. Again, Major Arcana. This is a higher self, an ending, and a completion. So you see she's standing here and it looks like she's walking into the light. I feel like there's a part of you that you're leaving back here and you're moving into the future with. Something you're not taking with you of yourself. Nine of Swords. Oh, This again is the Emotions Chakra. So Nine of Swords has to do with defeat, grief. You're heartbroken over something. You couldn't fix a situation. You couldn't make everybody happy and you're, you're struggling with it. And that's not good. You, you don't have that power, kind of, Sagittarius. Knight of Swords. This is bluntness. So I feel like this grief is going to make you be blunt, blunt in, your, in your voice. You're going to say things that are going to be very direct very of your feelings and this is going to prompt you to be blunt and voice what you want to say. Oh, Six of Swords. This again is purple. This is intuition. This is departure, transition. You're transitioning into something new. This is very heavy Sagittarius. I'm shocked because there's just a lot of emotions in you guys right now. Seven of Swords. This is the crown chakra. Again, this is life's lessons. And with the moon here and the sword, somebody is being sneaky around you, Sagittarius. Feel free to vice versa energy. I don't know if you're being sneaky, but I don't feel like it is you. I feel like somebody around you is being sneaky. Eight of Wands. 
This again is your identity root chakra. Oh wait, is this orange or? Yes, this is your root chakra identity. So this is results and a conclusion. So something again is going to end. And I feel like it has to do with your feelings and your thoughts. All these swords, she's thinking about something over and over. And she's going to be like, I can't do it anymore. I cannot keep doing this. And maybe it's from you finding out somebody's being sneaky around you. And you're like, oh my gosh, you're going to end it. You're going to be done. The devil. This is a couple things. This could be a Capricorn around you if you have a Capricorn. Or it is a lower vibration. Um, cheating. Jealousy. Coming towards you. Oh, Eight of Swords. This is again his identity. So this is drama, blame, and consequences. Um, yeah, this is sad. This is very sad. So gosh, a lot of emotions around you, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords. I think this is the good card. So Queen of Swords is purple with your uh, third eye chakra, which is intuition. This would be the divine looking out for you. Queen of Swords is integrity and separation, which tells me you are going to separate from the lower vibration, the jealousy, the negative energy. You're not having it. And she has these dogs down here. To me, this is the divine protecting her. And the sword means she is going to cut out what doesn't suit her. What comes in at her negativity, negatively, she has the divine looking out for her. And she has the strength and the wherewithal to cut it out of her life. She's not playing. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is splendor and expansion. So after you cut something out, you're going to grow. And you're going to be shocked at how you grow when you cut that out. The Herald font. Very good. Third eye. Intuition. Um, again, this is Major Arcana. The Herald font is intuition, spiritual guidance, and a hierarchy. So I'm trying to tell you, Sagittarius, that some of you out there are getting divine intervention with intuition. Your third eye is being opened. I don't know if you're trying to open your third eye or you're aware of it and you're trying to manifest more intuition coming into your life. But this basically says it is coming to you if you are accepting of it. It is there for you concerning a situation that you have in your life right now. Lovers, very good. Major Arcana. Obviously this speaks for itself, the lover's card. You know, somebody loves you. Ace of Cups, very good. This is your identity, your root chakra. So, Ace of Cups is love offered. Somebody is offering you love. Powerful love. Six of Wands, awesome. This is Third Eye. A lot of intuition coming up in your reading. A lot. So Six of Wands is a victory and a success. So that tells me that you are going to be able to open your Third Eye Chakra. A lover's coming in. A love is going to be offered. And then there's going to be success. I'm trying to put them all together. So if you can see these two. And then these two. Look at this. This is beautiful. Sagittarius. Somebody is offering you love. Six of Cups. Very good. This is my healing card. Intuition again. So I feel like their love is going to make you heal from something, Sagittarius. Four of Cups. This is your heart chakra. Four of Cups has to do with disillusionment. Something has you disillusioned concerning your heart. I'm not sure what it is, but something does. So the healing card came out and then disillusion. So maybe you're doubting that this person is going to help you heal and grow in your future. Queen of Wands. Again, intuition. Is this intuition? Yeah, intuition. Some of the colors are pretty similar and I have to compare them to make sure I'm on the right track. So Queen of Wands is self-worth. You are going to find your self-worth. Um, and maybe that's what the disillusionment is about. Do not doubt yourself. 
that your intuition needs to come out and you need to feel your self-worth Sagittarius it's there princess of coins beautiful heart chakra this is ideas and being practical so be practical in your love life be as practical as you can seven of cups this is your crown chakra this is a uh, expansion and the divine seven of cups is choices and confusion so are you confused about some choice you have to make ten of coins this is um, yellow is your solar plexus fast action and communication Ten of Coins has to do with birthright, comfort, and contract. So this has something to do with your family. It could be a will. It could be um, legal stuff around your family. But this, I feel like it has to do with possibly your parents or your grandparents. Something to do with your birthright. Ace of Coins. Ace of Coins is new venture and tangible results. So I don't know if this birthright is going to, it's going to bring you something good is what I'm, I'm reading. That's what it's saying. Something good is coming your way from your birthright. The stars. Very nice. Major Arcana. Beauty, mental clarity from the heart and loving is what this card is. And that is just a good card to come out. Four of Coins. This is a heart chakra again, and this is obstruction. You feel obstruction. Something is confusing you. There's some kind of block. Six of Coins. This is, again, an intuition card, and this has to do with karma. So, I feel like somewhere humanity so you put out good karma to the universe is what I'm getting and you see all these hands handy reaching out to you and the coins karma is coming back to you you deserve what is coming to you I feel like some of you maybe are getting a inheritance and this is saying you deserve it don't feel guilty if it's a big inheritance Sagittarius and it is an overabundance of wealth do not feel guilty if other members in your family do not get that Please, that is, you're deserving of it. The universe is telling you, don't, don't be confused. Moon, Major Arcana, again, the throat chakra. Um, this has to do with self-trust, habits, and psychic. And so, when I see the white wolf and the black wolf, that's yin and yang. To me, that's balance. So the universe is going to give you balance in this situation. Um, yeah, they are. I don't know if a secret has been kept from you and it will come out when all this clarity comes to you, but you are being guided for clarity and correct answers. Four of Wands, beautiful, the heart chakra. This could be a marriage proposal, so I don't know if you're going to get an inheritance and you're going to ask somebody to marry you. Um... The Four of Wands means awakening. You're awakened about something, and it has to do with your heart. So it's about love and somebody you love around you. Three of Swords. This is fast action and communication. The Three of Swords has to do with an ending. You are carefully cutting some ending of your life out of your life. You're done with it, and you're moving on into the future. And it's going to be fast, 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 fast. Five of Coins, again the blue blue throat chakra. So this is a hardship. You're going to have a hardship. Um, maybe you're going to have a hardship letting go of something. It's going to be hard for you to let go of it, is what I feel. And it's, it's shocking because you see the heart with three swords in it. But all I can say is the communication that's coming into you is going to be more hurtful to your heart than the actual what the words say. It's the way it's coming into you is going to hurt you more than the actual words, if that makes sense. And so, uh, the five of coins is going to make it hard for you. You're going to be like, gosh, why do you got to come in like that? Oh, 
This is, again, the throat chakra. This is regret and loneliness. You're regretting something and you're feeling very, very lonely, Sagittarius. Please don't do that. Oh, and this is a good card to come next. This is the divine. This is your crown chakra, judgment, major arcana. Wisdom, improvement. You are going to be more clear on your wisdom and you're going to be accepting of unity more than you ever have been in your life. You see the wings on her? You see the light on the end of her wand. The clearness is coming to you and the divine is pushing you ever so gently, maybe they're pushing you not gently, to move into your new life that's going to be different in some way, I feel. But you're being guided and you're being protected. So the chariot, again, is your identity, your root chakra. This is major kana, a lot of major kanas. This is uh, starting over. This is something you have to start